Today we're making Leberspätzle. Leberspätzle are quite common in southern Germany and they're really, really easy to make. If you do not have a Spätzle maker like this one, I'm going to link my other video where I show you how to make Spätzle without one of those tools. Leberspätzle are usually eaten in one of two forms. Either they're pan roasted with some onions or usually they can be found in a soup. So any kind of broth, you toss a handful of those things in, perfect. These things freeze really well, so you can prepare a lot of them, freeze them in portions, and then pull them out whenever you need them. Quick round of ingredients. You need beef liver. I chopped this liver into small pieces because beef liver has some kind of little grizzly bits and pieces. You don't want those, so cut those out. Then you need half the amount of the beef liver in flour. You need some marjoram, an onion, and some parsley. And that's it. These things don't taste at all like the liver you got at your grandma's house. What we need to do is we got to chop the parsley into bits that the food processor can handle and we got to chop up the onion and then we put out the food processor. So let's quickly do this. For the parsley you can use the stems and all because the food processor will take care of it. And we need an onion. Prep work done. Let's pull over that food processor and put this together. You just add your parsley and your onion, dump in all the liver, add the margarine. And what I forgot to mention in the beginning, we need some eggs because this stuff needs to stick together somehow. So let me just put a couple of them in. And then we're going to start adding the flour and see that we get the right consistency. Yes, this is quite liquid. So now we need flour. Let's hold a little bit back, just in case. This is still quite liquid, so we can easily add the rest. You want a slightly runny consistency, but of course you don't want half liquid stuff. It's still a tiny bit too liquid, but we're pretty much there. So I'm just gonna add one more spoon. I forgot to add salt to the Spätzle dough over in the machine, so I'm gonna do this by hand real quick. Do not forget to add some salt. You wanna bring your salted water to a slow boil. As you can see, I added a little bit of bouillon powder. Gives you a little bit more flavor. You can see there's a little bit of movement in the water. This is a good temperature. Now we're just gonna make Spätzle. You always wanna dip this into the water. The cooking time is only a minute or so. so. You just put them in, let it come back up to temperature, and then you can already pull them out. Work in batches. And there you have a whole lot of Leberspätzle. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.